going out to the blue hole and we're going to do a couple of things. So the first thing we're doing is we're going to get ready and we're going to have a live broadcast from the bottom of the blue hole um, with our special guests Sir Richard Branson and Fabian Cousteau on Sunday, December 2nd. And with our chief pilot, Erica Bergman, we're going to be having a conversation with them to talk about ocean conservation and things that really matter to both of those gentlemen and us in terms of ocean conservation generally and specifically the blue hole and how these things matter to the, the larger world and how we have to pay more attention to these things in a way that makes sure we've got them for generations to come. When we complete that, our next thing will be the science phase. We're doing a couple of things. The first is we're gonna, with a sonar partner, we're going to be building a 3D map of the Blue Hole. So what that means is it's a virtual map and that data will be provided to the uh, Belize government for use for research purposes so they can understand more about the Blue Hole and help contribute to that conservation. We're doing a bathymetric survey with another partner and we're also going to be doing some observational science. That means we'll be embarking uh, fisheries officials and other people like that, some students, to go down and really observe things in the blue hole that matter to them. If for the fisheries side of the house what they're looking for is to observe conch populations, to get a feel for how those vary in terms of the different depths that they might not be able to see from regular scuba diving or other means. And overall we're just doing a lot of observation work to see really what happens in the blue hole. We capture a great deal of data just passively with our submarine with various sensors. So we're going to have a really good idea of what goes on in and around the blue hole over that time. So it's really two things. It's an ocean awareness um, side of the house and then also a very strong science side of the house. We'll go diving for a couple of hours at a time. The submarine can stay down for a long, long time. We've got tons of air to be down there, but usually people get a little bit hungry and they need to come up. So a couple of hours at a time, we're going to do that. So two or three dives a day, mostly two. So call it up to four hours a day, you know, underwater, and then we come up and we'll make sure everything's working and then take our data, assemble it, and then do it again each day. Well, at the end of the day, this, this is really about exploration for us. We get asked quite often is, what are we going to see? Well, part of the reason we do this is because we're not 100% sure. We know that we'll see uh, stalactites and stalagmites in the hole. We know that we're going to see different sea life, but we're not 100% sure, and that's kind of the reason we're doing it. We really want to push the limits of exploration in a safe and respectable way. So again, once at the end of this, we're going to know more about the Blue Hole. The country of Belize will know more about the Blue Hole, and the people that are going to be managing it will be able to manage it more appropriately. So we'll have the Blue Hole managed and available for everybody to enjoy for a long time to come.